So we are here with Juanji Lee from America here in Utrecht. Yes. <laughs> nice to meet you, Juanji. Nice to meet you. Um, yeah, amazing uh, day. The first day here. Um, the calling starts tomorrow, but today we had the European uh, Champions Battle where you were attending. Yes. Um, yeah. I think I'm the only non-European in the Champions Battle. Uh, it was pretty fun. Uh, overall, like a pretty well-run tournament, I would say for the most part. Uh, everything ran very timely. Uh, I just narrowly missed top eight, uh, but ended up going five wins, one loss, one draw with Oldham. Uh, and so I think uh, I got asked to do a little deck profile. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, but before we jump into your yeah. deck, is there anyone you want to shout out? <laughs> Uh, I wanted to shout out, uh, what's it called, Flesh and Blood Cards.com because they lent, actually, they lent me uh, two legendaries uh, to use for the tournament. So I'm very thankful to them. And I wanted to thank uh, Michael for coming with me from America. There's two Americans trying to win another European calling. Yeah, uh, great. So uh, let's jump into your deck. You were playing Oldham. Tell us, uh, yeah. your, what equipment did you play? Yeah, so um, Oldham, I think pretty standard equipments. Uh, I mean, like the mostly like Oldham is powerful because of his weapon and uh, shield combo. Uh, so I actually decided to play both shields. Um, some Oldhams only play the rampart, uh, but I wanted Stalagmite to be able to kind of play a little bit more aggressive style against like Phi or Viserai because they use because Viserai wants to set up and then Phi is actually pretty difficult to just pure fatigue them so you also need to like attack them a little bit uh, as far as the other defensive equipment this is pretty standard for old him you have crown of seeds iron hide legs crit of fist uh, and find out spring tunic I think everybody who plays guardian is pretty familiar with all of this layout and then uh, for like more like utility equipment, I'm playing one uh, no room boots uh, for arcane barrier, and this is just uh, mostly like against viscerai, but I also think it's pretty good against dromai for the illusionist matchup, and also I think against prism as well. And I chose actually not to play uh, any more AB than that. Uh, instead of playing two more AB, I'm playing a sledge of Anvilheim, an arcanite skullcap, and skullcap I play when I'm trying to play with uh, stalagmite for trying to be like a little more aggressive into Phi or Viscera. Now that I have my use Frostbite tokens I got from Team Poland. Yeah, awesome. They're here too. Yeah. Great. Uh, so that's the equipment suite. Uh, and then you want to go over the ratios? Yes. Let's uh, look into your main deck, uh, what you actually did with your actions and the text. Yeah, so uh, just like numbers wise, it's 39 blues. And we'll go over them in a second. I think uh, the blues later. Uh, actually, this is probably the, m the more interesting. I'm playing uh, eight yellows. So I'm playing eight autumn's touch, or sorry, three autumn's touch yellows, three evergreen yellow, and two winter's grass yellows. And uh, one of the things that uh, Oldham is uh, pretty powerful at is you can use his uh, hero ability. Uh, but if you pitch two cards to use it, then uh, you can actually get both the ice and the earth effect from it, and it's usually worth uh, a little bit more than uh, like one card would be. Uh, but you have to find a way to use the extra resources, and if you pitch a yellow, so you can pitch the yellow first and then the blue, and then you get both effects. Uh, so that's why I'm running these uh, three, uh, six uh, yellow earth cards and two yellow ice cards. So I pitch it with like the other elements. Uh, and I get both effects, and then I can use the remaining resources to either uh, use crown of, crown of seeds or rampart later later on. Um, for reds, I have uh, I'll call these defensive reds first. Uh, three Arctic Incarceration red, three Oasis Respite red, uh, three Synchrolos, and so these are. Um, Purely just like for defense, uh, Oasis Respite actually isn't as good as I thought that it would be. Um, most of the time, I think I would rather prefer either something that costs zero, or uh, I'd rather prefer like a bigger defense reaction. Uh, but I just wanted to try it out. Uh, originally, I had it in the list, I think, for like Kano, but then I decided um, actually like earlier today, I just like wasn't gonna 
play any arcane barrier because I thought that the more uh, popular wizard was going to be Icelander, and I think the matchup is like too difficult to salvage while also trying to play for the other matchups. And so after these defensive cards, we have uh, the red attacks. So pretty standard Spinal Crush, Hulk and Old. These are just like always in. Uh, and Command the Conqueror. Uh, which I also uh, like Command the Conqueror to kind of play into like Viscerai, Five, Briar. Uh, and then I play two Pulverize for like a Guardian versus Guardian matchup, and then also just have additional six power attacks uh, against Illusionist to be able to like break their attacks or their Dragon allies. And, and did you face a lot of uh, Guardians today? Uh, I played against one Bravo Showstopper. I uh, actually ended up uh, losing the game narrowly. Uh, the end score was 1 1, and then he got attacked me with a Dominate attack. But I think the. Like how the match went, uh, it was uh, basically just uh, up, like uh, us deciding like which cards were more important for like the later part of the game, and he made like the better decisions. Uh, I just blocked with my pulverizers, but I should have just like, kept them in the, in the deck and then used them later. So if like this card is like super powerful in the matchup, if you actually get to like play it, it's like it lets you kind of like keep uh, the tempo, and then you also have to block it because there's a lot of damage going out. And I play three red pummels. Uh, these are the only pummels that I play in the deck, uh, as Red Pummel is a really good combo with Command and Conquer in against Guardian, but then just against everyone else, you just want to like pummel, uh, like sometimes you attack with, I don't know, like Evergreen or Autumn's Touch, and then you pummel it, uh, just to get like a card out of their hand. And then last, uh, Blues, which uh, always, most of the Guardian decks are always a lot of Blues. Uh, I play two Exposed to the Elements, and two blizzards. So these basically go in and out uh, in place of each other, depending like what, what your matchup is. If you're playing against like an aggro deck, like Phi, you play these. And then these expose, you play against, um, what's it called, against like uh, Illusionist particularly. Uh, I want to use this to try to destroy their Ghostly Touch or their Phantasmal Footsteps. Uh, I think it's like one of the only ways that you can really win that matchup. And then after that, we have uh, Elemental cards, I actually play, I think, a, a couple more ice cards than most other lists that I've seen. So I play in total uh, 11, uh, 12, 13 ice cards. Uh, I'm trying out uh, Hypothermia and Channel the Bleak Expanse. Channel Bleak Expanse is something I just put in because uh, it lets you, this is one of the new cards from, uh, from Uprising. And basically, uh, it has a little bit anti-synergy with your own Crown of Seeds, but it also shuts down a lot of the things that like Fi is trying to do. So you can't like reveal for belittle. You can't like search your deck for the minnowism. You can't um, you can't draw cards off a mask, or you can't like if you have the mass of the pouncing links, you can't destroy it to search for a card either. So it's just kind of like a little like, utility card. I never actually got to play it, but um, because the opportunity didn't come up, but that's the idea behind it. It's also good against Ice Lexi for kind of the same, same reasons. Like it shuts down their ability to like fuse their arrows. Uh, and then you play uh, a pulse of Eisenloff because it's one of the best cards in the deck. You can use it to fuse off uh, your Oaken Olds. And I just play six uh, only uh, Earth Blues. Uh, these are just mostly for defense. Uh, you just like block or you Earth React. Or you pair with like the w Yellow Winter's Grasp. You get the both reacts out of it. And then the rest are just attacks. Uh, I play Mulch, uh, Glacial Footsteps, Macho Grande. Uh, I chose to play Choke Slams because I think they're pretty good against like the Phi combo. Uh, Thunderquakes, and uh, last but not least, uh, I play three Terra Sunders. So people, um, I think we're playing Brothers in Arms Blue before for like a more defensive style, but I thought that uh, it was a little bit more appropriate to be able to have the hit trigger, and that's why I'm playing Terra Sunders. The rest is just like six plus power attacks for Illusionist, and then also so that you can do some damage when your opponents take like a turn off. And uh, that's the deck. Yeah, awesome. Um, for tomorrow, what are your thoughts um, after today uh, with your, I guess? So originally I was gonna, I brought two decks. I brought Old Him and I brought Fi, yeah. and I was gonna play Fi tomorrow. Uh, but after playing Old Him today, I thought, I think that Old Him is still like pretty good. Uh, uh, overall, and I don't feel as good about playing Fi in, in the calling. Um, 
just because I think that a lot of people are kind of preparing for it, so they have like a lot of disruption. Uh, so I, I might just like run this back. Maybe I'll switch out all these respects. I'm not sure. Yeah. And is there anything you would change from the ground with this deck? Change what? Is there anything you would uh, change for this deck? Yeah, I think I would just like maybe take out Oasis Respite and either play uh, like Staunch Response or I play uh, Fate Foreseen. Um, uh, but then other than that, not really. Uh, I think overall the deck is fine. It's I, I'm picking to have like a little bit worse matchup against Prism mm -hmm. and then also against the uh, Wizards. But I, I think uh, no matter like what deck you play. Uh, right now, you always have to pick like a couple matchups that you're just going to have like a worse matchup against, and those are just the ones that I'm going to pick for tomorrow. Awesome! Yeah, congratulations, and we see each other tomorrow. Thank All you right. so much. Thank you.